Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. My dear brothers and sisters listening to us on Muslim channel. I salute you with the best of salutations. Assalamu My friend asked me once that what is faith? And per, as my perspective, I told my friend that what I call faith is thanking God even without giving you what you asked for. Because that is the perspective of having the hope that God will give you what you asked for. It is hard to believe. But when you thank God for what he has not yet given you with hopes of knowing that God is ultimately and perhaps that God is going to give you what you want, it is the best. And that is what we call faith. So thank God for life. Thank God that you have something to eat. Thank God that you are still living in the life that you expect that is so small for you and yet you have not looked at those that do not have a life you have. And that is why I always tell people that before you underestimate the life you have, you must first of all look at people who do not have what you have. And that's why the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, La tanduru ala man huwa fawtehu. Do not look at those above you. They will stress you. Walakin induru ala man huwa asfal minku. But look at those below you. Sometimes you may underestimate the gifts that God has given you. But it is a dream of someone. Someone dreams to have what you have. And then you underestimate it. Thanking God for what he has given you is called gratitude. You gratify God for what he has done for you. But then thanking God in advance for what he has not given you is called faith. Because you believe, you have the hope that God is going to give you what you've asked from him. Maybe he has not given you what you exactly you asked. Maybe he has not given you what exactly you want. But remember, God promised that if you call unto him, if you call for his help, if you ask God for what you want, he is indeed going to give you what you want. And he will not get tired of bestowing his bounties to you because that is what he wants. And if my servants ask you about me, I am close to them. That is a statement from God. He is close to you. Just with remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he is close to you. And that is why the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Hadith al-Qudus, I am with the good thoughts of my servants in time. My servants think about me. And God is with us in times we remember him. God says, When my servant remembers me in his mind, in your heart, and also God remembers you and acknowledges you in his heart. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, فَإِنْ ذَكَرَنِي فِي مَلَئِنْ and if you remember God in a group of people, you talk about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You thank God in a group of people. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, fi mala in khairun min. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says your name in a group that is better than human beings. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, if you get close to, it, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, a measurement of an inch, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gets close to you a measurement of a meter. Look at how God subhanahu wa ta'ala loves us. Look at how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to get close to him. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, فَمَنْ أَتَانِي يَمْشِي And whoever goes to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala walking, that is what you're capable of doing. You can only pray the five prayers in the day. Maybe the sunnah is hard for you. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala acknowledges that. And that is why I always tell people, do not be afraid and worried and depressed when you do something good for someone. And they do not gratify you. And they do not appreciate you. Because, well, God does very many things for us. And we do not appreciate him. God has given you eyes. 
have you ever sat down and given your 20 minutes to God? You told him, oh God, you have given me eyes. Thank you, God, for the eyes. Thank you, God, for the life. Thank you, God, for my education. Thank you, God, for my career. Thank you, God, for my parents. Thank you, God, for my wife. People are struggling with wives. Thank you, God, for my children. They are right, yes. Thank you, God, for everything you have done for me. Because God needs you to thank him. I will end my words with one of the traditions of the prophet, and he says, he who cannot thank a small thing, small bounty that has been done for him or her, he or she will never appreciate something big. You give someone 1,000 shillings and they do not appreciate you, even if you give them 10 millions, they will never appreciate you. And someone who cannot gratify, someone who cannot appreciate people for the help they have given to that person. If someone helps you and you do not appreciate them, you will never thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Start with the basics. Thank people for the good things they have done for you. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will also be pleased with you. Brothers and sisters, I end my words by saying, when you thank Allah in advance for what you've asked from him, it is called faith. Because you believe that at a certain point, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to reply to the message you've sent to him. You have full hopes. Then when you thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for what he has given you, it is called gratitude. And when you gratify someone here on earth, they add you. And Allah promised in the Quran, La in shakartum, if you thank me, if you gratify me, la azidan nakum, I will add on to what I have already given you. Remember Allah said in the Quran when it is starting, He is promising us that whatever He has said in the Quran, la raiba fi, there is no doubt. And we have full hopes that one day Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will respond to all our supplications. I thank you for listening to me. I just pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes us people of righteousness and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us the best on earth and even in the hereafter and make us very exemplary people. I thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.